Get hey, on here, fellas. Here we go. Something from Garage Project. These guys, I think they started their um, brewery in a garage in Wellington, New Zealand. 10th anniversary edition. Double. Pan yeah. Panacious weed. I think they've just gone silly on the hops and this one they've gone even sillier, I reckon. And they've even boosted the malt, which is a good good thing if you want balance. You can't just have a hoppy hop head. Whoa, now they lost it. You're kidding. No, I think it was about 13 bucks. And that's not ridiculous. It looks great. You saw the head, didn't you? No, it's one of those big glasses. A bit of a mongrel to show the head with these glasses. I'll have to get some short ones. Cheers. Wow. Right out there. Hop Central. Crazy hops. And they've used a pretty popular, well-known well one, the Nelson Savin and Raku. Double dry hopped, 10%. Very special edition of the Garage Favourite, celebrating 10 years of our own wicked and pernicious weed. Brewed to be bigger, with double the synergistic dry hop hit of freestyle-grown Nelson Savin and Rakal hops, more malt, more hops, and even more mouth-watering bitterness. Juicy grapefruit, my mouth's salivating reading it. Juicy grapefruit and citrus flavour and ripe passion fruit aroma. Intense, definitely. Too much, never. Zero carbon footprint, these guys, and it's a big 440 mil can, and I think it was $13, not even 14 well worth it because yeah you, i've got me 15 percent discount so it's already back down to about 12 per 12 bucks that's not too bad big can lovely cheers guys it's one of those beers you just want to hold it in your mouth for a long time it's just so intense. The flavour is just wow. Yeah, pretty good. It's a bit of a sipper though. Mm. I like the artwork. The artist who was um we put his name in there. Tim Gibson. Well done, Tim. He's got the freestyle hop sign in there. He's got this guy here running. Well, what's he doing? I like this one. So like the pumpkin. The fiery pumpkin. What a beauty Who is this guy. Right? Is it a guy? What is it? It's a thing. No. Is that a dress? Look out, this is wild, this artwork, isn't it? Oh, is it a, a woman with her head covered running into the flames or something? That doesn't make much sense. Women don't do those silly things. Kid. Cheers, guys, this is great. Now, a lot of countries around the world have ridden motorbikes. And when I got to New Zealand... My granddad on my mum's side, he was um, on a farm there, big farm, sheep farm. And they live right on um, the west coast, right on the, on the ocean. So they had all this ocean land. So my uncle, who was two years younger than me, he uh, took me down to the beach and we had a race. And I was on a four. It might have been a trike bike, or a, yeah, I think it might have been four wheel, but like a you know a farm bike. And he was on the motorbike. And we raced down there, and I 
don't like to give up and then I couldn't pull up. I ended up going off the edge and landed on the beach, dropped down about four feet, a metre and a half. That was all good. And then we got some oysters and we were just eating them straight out of the shell. They were about 100, 100 mil long, minimum. Some were just huge. Best oysters ever had. Mm. You're kidding. The double pernicious weed. They had that over in New Zealand as well. The wicked weed. You didn't even feel your legs. You couldn't feel your legs. So you couldn't walk. Yeah, they've got some good dacker over there, I tell you. It was wicked. Huh. It was amazing. I ended up smoking with... It was my granddad's wife. Second wife. Not my grandma. Um, her father. An ex-World uh, World II veteran was in Egypt and a few places in the Middle East. Yeah, he... He just pulled out a joint and I had a joint with him. He was about 72 years old, still having a joint. Oh, it was just magic. He was a very intelligent man. Took me through the museum. There's a cowrie museum over there near where my family was. New Zealand, what a great place. All right, cheers, guys. Catch you on the, on the morrow, as we do. Cheers.